Tesla has installed a lot of power walls. It doesn't just install them in the United States. It installs power wall battery packs on people's homes in many countries around the world. And this is the total number that Tesla has installed worldwide. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Tesla's power walls, are, well, they're great when the power goes out. Uh, obviously, it's backup power, but they're also good now because Tesla has the ability to actually charge your electric car from your power wall. Also, you can charge your power wall from excess solar. You can join Tesla's virtual power plant, which means that you feed power back into the grid, especially at times when power is expensive. So Tesla kind of takes advantage of that opportunity for you with their software. The biggest thing with the power wall really is, you know, the battery is great, but there's a lot of companies that make batteries. It's actually the software and the integration that are really what you're paying for more than anything else. Sounds crazy, but I mean, the cells in your Tesla power are actually manufactured by CATL, the biggest battery company in the world. It's Tesla that does all the other work, all the other software stuff, the integration stuff. That's where the money is. Now, Tesla has installed 600,000 power walls worldwide. That's quite a lot. On Friday, Tesla Energy said on X, which is Twitter, that the company has reached 600,000 power wall installations worldwide. And this comes right after the next generation Power Wall 3 went on sale in the United States and a number of the countries as well. So Power Wall 3 is better, it has more power, also has some other upgrades too. So because Power Wall 3 is now here, Power Wall 2 is cheaper. Tesla has dropped the price of Power Wall 2 in the United States. You can now buy Power Wall 2 for $8,400. That's US dollars, by the way, on Tesla's website. You still get a rebate on your installation of 500 US dollars, apparently, if you order. But Tesla, I believe, has probably not got many Power Wall 2s left. They're primarily manufacturing just the Power Wall 3 now. Now, if you're curious to know, there's a, the home battery market is pretty big. LG Chem, they do batteries. They've had a lot of recalls on those batteries. But anyway, if you're curious to know what is Tesla's market share when it comes to home batteries, so home energy storage, Tesla own one in three. So around about 32% of all batteries sold, sold, sold in the United States, by the way, home battery sales in the United States are sold by Tesla. And this is actually Tesla's fastest growing source of revenue the fastest growing area of their business, not just power walls, but energy storage, putting in, building out massive batteries around the world. There's one being built right now in Queensland. And in fact, Tesla are building numerous batteries all around the world today. However, of course, like I said, Tesla doesn't just sell power walls in the US. It sells them in Australia. It sells them in Europe. In Europe, the company said it has enough power walls for around 41,000 homes for 12 hours of power, meaning it has deployed one gigawatts of power installations in Europe so far. So Tesla has been working though on its virtual power plant program. So this is a way for you to get the money that you paid for the power wall back. Some people say that they've paid off their power walls simply by getting credits from, well, from their electricity supplier. This means that power wall owners sell electricity back to the grid at times of peak demand. So Peak demand could be a point in time, say 7 p.m. at night. Everyone gets home. It's been a really hot day. How's this hot? House is hot. Not enough solar panels actually work anymore because the sun's going down. And then you're seeing power prices spike enormously because there's all this extra demand. That creates a giant distributed battery across households by being a part of Tesla's Powerwall. You get paid back money. And a lot of people, you know, like I said, they've actually paid off their entire Powerwall installation through that platform, through being part of a virtual power plant. Tesla actually plans on becoming one of the largest energy distributors in the world. So it's a big part of their plan on becoming a major global energy power force, essentially. The company is currently piloting VPP programs in, in multiple states in the US, including California, Texas, Massachusetts, and others. It has some in Australia as well, plus in Puerto Rico, in other locations in Europe apparently as well. So these virtual power plants are popping up all over the place. Tesla has a um, a license to run its own energy network in the United Kingdom, and it runs a virtual power plant there as well. So it's kind of cool to see this happening, but a lot of experts believe 
that eventually almost everyone will have their own battery pack at their home. And one of the reasons for that is because used EVs, the, the vehicle will fall apart well before the battery pack dies. We're seeing people use batteries from buses. Once those buses have done 500,000 kilometers or more, the bus is really not that good anymore, but the battery pack is still useful. People have used those batteries for powering their homes in remote locations. So what's gonna happen now is these lithium ion phosphate batteries in particular, but batteries from EVs, they last a lot longer than the lifetime of the car. So those batteries will be used to run people's homes. And most people they believe in the future who are not living in an apartment block will have their own battery pack, like a Tesla Powerwall. A lot of experts, in fact, billionaires who are really wealthy believe this is the future of the energy market. Thanks for watching.